Hey folks, uh, so yeah, we got a new rumor for you today, and uh, I'm really excited about this one, and there's a specific reason I'm covering it, and it's due to something I was able to verify, um, and you can verify for yourself as well, so this isn't even like, oh my gosh, I have a source behind the scenes. No, it's publicly available information, but it's really cool, and it has to do with Nintendo essentially revamping their entire online infrastructure. We're not just talking about like new servers to play games on. We're talking about the fundamental way their actual online works. AKA, remember that phone app? Remember this thing, you know, that you use in here, like the Nintendo Switch Online phone app? Let's just say that looks like it's going away. Now, before I get into this video, I will remind you we are giving away two copies of Skyward Sword HD. There's a link down in the description to enter, but let's just get into this. And I'm going to give a little uh, warning about this rumor. It does come from Samus Hunter on Twitter. Uh, I have not covered Samus Hunter in almost a month at this point. Uh, I, I just wanted to wait and see what happened at E3, and then it turned out she got actually quite a bit wrong at E3. But she's also gotten quite a bit right over you know, o over time as well. So it's one of those situations where Samus Hunter has now basically just joined the ranks of every other um, leaker out there where they're not 100%, uh, which is true of Emily Rogers. It's true of Jeff Grubb. It's true of everyone. Nobody has a perfect track record except for Practical Brush 12 on Reddit somehow still has a perfect track record. I don't know how the hell that happened, uh, but still is perfect after E3. So Samus Hunter is what she is. Um, and she put out some interesting stuff because there's been a lot of speculation around something that was happening over the weekend and into Monday where Nintendo was taking down all of their online services at the exact same time for maintenance. And they've never done that. Since the Switch came out, there's not been one period of time where every single online service was taken down at once. And a lot of speculation came out of this that Nintendo's prepping to announce a new system or a new virtual console or something crazy like that. Not really any of that. But according to Samus Hunter, this is something really cool. Again, take with a truckload of salt and all of that. Let's read what she said on Twitter. So she said, I read a rumor that speculated that the large server maintenance that was yesterday could be related to an update of some game, a new firmware, or even the announcement of a new revision of the console. In reality, the end user won't notice these differences. Nintendo is updating its entire online infrastructure. The whole thing in preparation for upcoming titles. More games, especially Nintendo ones, are taking advantage of the invite feature. And it's no coincidence that now, right now, the old invite system that Splatoon 2 used in the lounge no longer works. Some ideas that have been thought of, such as the smartphone app as the focal point for the online, after the poor reception by the public, have been set aside in favor of more integrated systems Obviously, this change isn't quick, but the first results are starting to arrive. So, essentially what Samus Hunter is saying here is that uh, if you want evidence that Nintendo's, you know, that this is an online infrastructure change, the lounge no longer works in Splatoon 2. Now, is it that big of a deal with Splatoon 3 coming out next year? Not really, but it's kind of a, a, a first step towards, hey, look, the lounge doesn't work anymore, and that was part of the old system that was literally built around a phone app. Remember, Splatoon 2 for a while was like the only game that really used the online phone app, uh, especially for voice chat. And obviously, we know that Nintendo uh, has, you know, in, in a prior firmware update, added potential Bluetooth support for headsets moving forward. And that's really interesting because there's no reason for Nintendo games to support it uh, other than, you know, Fortnite or something like that that does allow voice chat locally on the system. So Nintendo appears to be making a turn away from their original online infrastructure plans into a more integrated system, at least according to Samsung. Now, again, this is all rumors and speculation, but with the lounge being shut down, with all of the online stuff going down at once, and the fact that, I mean, can we be honest, the Nintendo Switch phone app? is maybe one of the least supported apps in Nintendo history. Um, yeah. I mean, to this day, there's still only, what, two games that use it? I, it it's pathetic. It, it basically shouldn't exist. But it is what it is. Nintendo obviously had a plan. Uh, and they had big plans for that phone app. Remember the, remember an invite feature? That, okay, so they were supposed to have... Here, here's the big thing about the phone. It was definitely meant to be the central point of their online infrastructure because, if you remember, they had a lot of huge plans for that phone app. Right now, it's just for voice chat in a couple of games, but there was supposed to be more. Yeah, there's stats and stuff you can look up on Splatoon, but there was supposed to be more. 
right? You were supposed to be able to, as an example, set up lobbies, be able to set up future play sessions with friends and send invites out. All of that actually kind of made sense to use a phone for if you don't want to get your switch out to create future play sessions, right? So if you're at work and you want to set something up with your friends, you want to send some invites out, why not use the Nintendo Switch online app? Now, it should have, it could have been better by also being integrated with the Switch. So if your friend's on the Switch when the invite comes, they could accept it on the Switch or something like that. So there was ways they still could have did it better, but we never actually got that system on the phone app anyways. Uh, there were other plans they had for the phone app that they announced way back in 2017 that also never came to fruition. So they had a big concept to base everything about their online infrastructure around phones. And obviously, not only did they under-deliver, uh, what they did deliver was panned mostly by, uh, by, by Switch owners. Even people who used it that said, hey, look, the voice uh, quality, like to Nintendo's credit, I think they were using Google servers, uh, the voice quality in the app was fine. But like convoluted setups, you know, remember the original Splatoon 2 headset where you had like a wire running to your Switch and a wire running to your phone, uh, you know, splicing that together in order to get audio from both was just really cumbersome. There have been Bluetooth headsets that have come out where you can Bluetooth to this and then wire to your Switch uh, as a better solution, but still not ideal. Plus, you always have to deal with, with uh, you know, Bluetooth uh, potential audio delays. Uh, especially in multiplayer games, that might be a no-go. Uh, hey, there's just been a lot of uh, issues uh, trying to use it in that way. And by the way, you've been able to use wired headsets on Switch this entire time. It's just Nintendo games don't support in-game voice chat, so who cares? So this infrastructure, while she doesn't mention in-game voice chat, does sound like if they're going away from the app that was panned by the public, that's a, just a major overhaul, which would include putting voice chat locally on your system again not something samus center says but if they're going away from the phone app that's pretty much the only function the phone app has for the most part uh but yeah they're, they're changing the way on uh, invites happen i mean heck who knows maybe they eventually stop with the friend code thing that was obviously something that nobody really understood after wii u why they went back to friend codes wii u felt like a step in a more modern direction in terms of online infrastructure and then they just abandoned that because the Wii U flopped. The Wii U didn't flop because of the online infrastructure. It's just like the Wii U didn't flop because of Miiverse. It was a really cool idea. They didn't have to get rid of that. Uh, they could have kept that. That that was actually that was a good thing, Nintendo from Wii U. So sure, there could be voice chat updates. There could be um, the way you invite people to play online updates. Obviously, we know about the server uh, changes. That's actually something we already know. Monster Hunter Rise, one of the first games that uses Nintendo's new server inf infrastructure. It certainly seems like Nintendo's at least doing a heavy focus on online, making it a, a priority and trying to make things better. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that Nintendo Switch online service is going to get any better anytime soon. Uh, but, you know, as Samus Center notes here, uh, you know, it says, you know, some ideas that have been thought of, such as the smartphone app at, as the focal point of online and the poor research has been set aside. Obviously, uh, this change isn't quick, but the first results are starting to arrive. So it's just one of those. Yeah, we have things shut down in Splatoon 2. We aren't really sure of uh, a lot of other aspects of what Nintendo's future plans are. Uh, there's just a lot to take into consideration when we're talking about this. And I'm actually curious, like, in what ways do you want to see Nintendo improve their online overall across the entirety of the platform? Like, yeah, we talked about voice chat. We talked about, you know, invites, maybe even better connections through the new online server infrastructure that we already know exists. So, like, what else can Nintendo do to improve your online? Could it be, uh, you know, having a Games of Gold style, uh, PlayStation Plus style service where they give you free games uh, with your online subscription? Could it be finally, you know, adding new things to the online app, like the, the or not the online app, the, uh, the Nintendo Switch Online? You know, they have the NES and SNES. Or is it time for the N64? Or is it time for something else? Is it time for them to add more and more games every month and commit to that? Is it time for a, a virtual console? Is it time for, what? like, what could Nintendo do to make their online better? Because we always talk... Nintendo's online is so far behind. But then what the hell could they do to catch up? I know one major thing would be the ability to just message people, whether uh, voice or text or ideally both. Uh, the fact that we can't message people in the online phone app, nor can we message people directly on our Switch. Um, yikes. <laughs> uh, so something like that would be cool. Uh, maybe... You know, this is maybe an out there thing that's probably unrelated, but maybe working out whatever issues are between Netflix and Nintendo. Because we had Netflix on the damn 3DS. What the hell? Uh, so, I don't know. Uh, that's just some stuff floating out there. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to listen to all of your guys' speculation as well. 
Uh, Samus Hunter, uh, you know, it does have a track record of getting stuff right. Also, isn't 100%. So, it is what it is. Um, I'm just, you know, we, we, we covered this today mostly because I think this is highly plausible that Nintendo is working on new infrastructure. And the fact that in Splatoon 2, uh, you can no longer use the lounge. It, it's one of those, okay, after they did this, Splatoon 2 lounge doesn't work anymore. Hmm. The lounge was one of, like, the key aspects that led to things like the, the, the app on the phone. So... We'll have to wait and see what happens. Um, you know, it, it's for future Nintendo games specifically. And that's, I think, what's exciting because everything about their online was built around their own games. Uh, and it was done really poorly. I mean, even Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, right? The most popular game on Switch, uh, like, is using the Wii U online. And the Wii U online feels better than the actual Switch online on the Switch. What the hell, right? So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel RoboJance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch each and every one of you in the next video.